Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited for this video because we're going to be talking about We Makeup, which is a small, in my opinion, underrated Italian brand and I'm so excited about this one because I'm actually working with them. This video is sponsored by We Makeup. I've only previously tried just a few things here and there myself so I was so grateful to get to try out pretty much their entire line and give you guys a full review. So in today's video I'm going to go through basically every product that they sell, kind of give you my thoughts on them. I have lip swatches for the lipsticks, lip glosses, and liquid lipsticks. And then I'm also going to be showing you a demo of how I got this look at the end. I want to let you guys know that I do have a discount code with We Makeup that is valid until November 22nd. They're basically doing their Black Friday sale early, and if you use this code, you can get up to 40% off. My code is We Love Amy, and it's just a discount code. It's not affiliated. I'm not making any extra money from it. Just wanted to let you know it's there for you guys to get access to their Black Friday sales. So jumping right on in, we're going to go ahead and start off with lip products. These are their if lipsticks and I have quite a few of them and I love the formula of these bad boys. They, I don't know why I just call them that, but I love them so, so much. They are a very opaque, creamy, comfortable formula. I would say they're definitely a little bit more on the satiny side. I love that they leave my lips hydrated. I feel like comfort is very, very important to me when it comes to wearing lip products. My two favorite shades out of this formula would have to be the shade 02, which I believe is called Marseille Nude. And something cool that they do is that they have the same numbers across their liquid lipsticks their lip liners and their lipsticks. So if there's a certain shade you really love, you can kind of get all the same um, in the different products. But this one, 02, is such a beautiful kind of like rosy nude. It's what I have on today. I've got the lip liner and a lip gloss on as well, but I just think it's such a beautiful shade. They don't have anything that's like a super, super light nude. Everything's pretty mid-tone and up. And then I also really love the shade Hula Eye Umber. I feel like I always say it wrong, but it's the shade 09. And it's a really pretty, more brown lipstick. I feel like this is a nice 90s nude kind of vibe for me, so I really love that one as well. And of course, I just have to mention how beautiful the packaging is on these. I just feel like the bullets are so pretty, and I love the extra details. So now let's go ahead and jump on into the lipstick lip swatches. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mention one product really quickly that I'm not gonna be lip swatching. This is the Well Lip Plumper. And I was very nervous to try this just because I have super sensitive lips and typically I've tried other lip plumpers like for example the Too Faced one and like my lips just swell up like I got stung by multiple bees and it will be extremely painful but this one actually is not bad as far as pain goes for me. Like I said very very sensitive lips. It just feels like tiny little stinging all over and my lips did not have an allergic reaction to it which is really really great. Pretty much every other lip plumper I've ever tried does that for me. I also had my sister try this just out of curiosity and she said it was really nice, no pain for her. She liked the effect, just wanted to throw that in because she has more normal lips than I do because my lips are dramatic apparently. The reason I'm not showing this today, even though I planned to originally, is because I did a ton of lip swatches so my lips are kind of sore and swollen already so I feel like you wouldn't really be able to see what a difference this does because it does make a difference. But I am gonna show this in a future video. I thought this was really interesting because it's supposed to help you have full, plump, and hydrated lips. So there's ginger root oil in here which is supposed to be revitalizing and it says that if you use it twice a day for 28 days, 
it'll have a long-term improvement in hydration and lip volume, which was really interesting because most other lip plumpers that I've seen have been more like, just like you use it and it doesn't really have an effect long-term. And then next we can go ahead and talk about the lip glosses, which I love. So here's what the lip glosses look like. They have nine shades and this is actually their most recent release. I love these because they are very comfortable on the lips. They're just like a very soft, creamy formula. I wouldn't say they feel like super hydrating, but they do just feel comfy. They're not sticky at all. And they have a few different types of formulas going on here. So they have a clear gloss. This is just the shade 01. Super nice clear gloss. I feel like it looks very juicy on the lips, which I love. And then they have these shade 03, 05, 07, and 08, which are more like shimmery toppers. And typically I don't go for this type of lip gloss as much just because I feel like it can tend to look more like metallic lips, which is not what I'm into. But I think these are actually nice because they're more of a shimmer and they're not super, super intense. I don't see myself using them a ton on their own. I think I liked 05 the most on its own out of all four of these but I do think they look really beautiful as toppers and they're not too metallic. I think if you just use a little bit on the center of the lips, they're really pretty. I have this shade 03 on the center of my lips today and I feel like it's such a beautiful glossy look. But my favorite that they've done is the like just typical like satin formula. There's no shimmers, just one straight color. I feel like these aren't super sheer or super opaque. They're just right in the middle. My favorite shade here is the shade 02. I feel like it's such a pretty neutral. I would use this all the time on its own. There's a pink, there's like a soft kind of rosy shade, and then this brown as well is a really beautiful nude. So I really, really love the glosses as a whole. If you're a gloss person, I think they're very nice. So let's go ahead and jump on into the gloss lip swatches. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and talk about the liquid lipsticks. These are called their Ever Liquid Lipsticks, and I only have a few shades here, but they have a huge, huge variety of colors to check out if you are interested in these. Most of these are more of just like a matte formula, and then I have one that's a metallic. So I would say that overall I do like these. They're more of like that very thin, liquidy formula when you're applying it to the lips, which I feel like does make it a little bit more difficult to do like a very precise application. I definitely prefer using these with a lip liner and then they dry down very, very matte. They're just like a super classic liquid lipstick. If you like more of a liquid lipstick that doesn't dry down all the way, that's a little bit more creamy, I wouldn't recommend these. But if you like one that when you put it there, like it's gonna stay there, it's not going anywhere, it's dry, 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 then these are a nice option. And I don't feel like I have to go in with two layers. I feel like they're overall pretty opaque. The metallic one I feel like is a little bit even thinner. And I do think it looks kind of pretty. I think it's just because it's a red that I don't mind it being metallic. I think it could be a really pretty holiday lip. This is the shade 65. I was definitely really impressed with the blue just because I feel like 
I would imagine blue would be a harder color to formulate and it was very opaque, not sheer at all. Like it's a very intense blue liquid lipstick so it kind of makes me curious about the other kind of out there colors that they have. I would assume that they're probably going to be really good quality and not sheer or patchy. Now let's go ahead and jump on into the lip swatches of these. Didn't let them dry down all the way. I kind of just wanted to show the color quickly and wipe it off because my lips were already burning at this point. So you can kind of just get an idea of the color. Stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strive Savannah Okay, so lastly for lips, let's go ahead and discuss the lip liners. I feel like because they're wooden, you wouldn't expect it, but they are very, very creamy and very pigmented, which I really, really love. They have a good variety of shades, and again, I love that these shades correspond to the lipsticks, which makes it super, super easy. So the lip liner I have on today is the shade 02 Marseille Nude which again is just a really pretty rosy shade. I'll show you how creamy it is. Like, look at that. I'm barely even touching the pencil to my hand. Okay, next we can do 05 Gordon Brownstone. Next we have the shade 09 Ula Eye Umber, which is pretty brown. You can see I've used that one quite a bit. Next we have the shade U Mile which this is described as a really light nude on their website. I feel like it comes off a lot darker on me. We've got two reds here. So the first one is 27 Malabar Oxblood. There's what that one looks like. And then we have the shade Borghese, which I'm guessing is Italian. So that one's right here. It's the thicker one. And then lastly is a really pretty burgundy, which is called 41 Hecla Barn Red. So there's all the lip liners. Please excuse the paint that stuck to my hand. I'm refinishing a wine rock right now and primer is so sticky. Okay, jumping into eye products, we're gonna start off with their eyebrow gel. This is called the Their Brow Gel and I have two shades open here because I wasn't sure which was gonna be my shade. So originally I thought 03 was gonna be mine. I think this is like Carnella Copper or something and it looked like a really beautiful soft red shade just from the picture that I saw on the model but this one's a little bit too dark and intense for me. So if you have more of like bright, very rich red hair, this would be a really nice shade. The one that ended up working for me is the shade 01 and I really, really love this because I feel like it's a nice taupey shade but it's not too cool toned so it looks pretty decent in my brows as far as like matching to my hair and the formula of this is really, really nice as well. So it's just a very, very liquidy formula and then they have a brush that they sell separately. This is the, it doesn't say what the exact name of it is but it's their brow brush and it says there is indeed another way to live which is kind of cute. It's a nice thing to think on, but this is a really nice brush as well. It's a very, very thin little brush, so you can definitely get in your brows and do little strokes and make them look more natural with this, even though it is a little bit more intense, and I try to go very, very light-handed. I also really like this because it is very long-wearing. It's just one of those, gosh, I'm putting it back in. It's one of those brow gels that dries down, and I can put my fingers through my brow and nothing's gonna come off. Okay, so next we have mascara, which I feel like I can kind of just do this really quickly. I love their mascara. This is the More Mascara, and I just finished one, the one that I bought I have in my empties pile. I absolutely love this mascara. If you've been watching my channel, you know I've been using this 
pretty much every video for months now. I just feel like it is such a rich black shade. It definitely adds more length than volume. I'm grateful they sent another one because I love this so much. I was planning on repurchasing it anyways. And then I got to go ahead and try out the Since Waterproof Mascara. And I will say that I do like this because I've had the issue with some mascaras transferring on me a little bit because of the heat and moving. I never had that issue when I lived up north. So I've just noticed when there's hot days, I end up with mascara marks in my crease. So I like this because it doesn't do that. It's also not impossible to remove. I feel like a lot of waterproof mascaras, you'll literally like lose lashes trying to take it off. But this one with just a normal cleanser will come off. As far as the way it looks on the lashes, I prefer the more mascara a little bit more. <laughs> That's a pun. I just feel like this is darker and just looks better on the lashes overall So what I'm trying now is doing both of them and just doing the more first to get me the look that I want and, and then using this over it so that it won't transfer But I definitely really recommend their mascara if you're looking for a great one to try the more one It's just so good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about their only eye pencils So they have six shades available and they are all wooden which again kind of throws me off because I feel like most other brands, when they release wooden pencils, they're just not that good, but theirs are still so creamy. They're pretty long wearing on the waterline. I don't have any issues with them fading throughout the day. The first one we have here, actually, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't used this one on my eyes yet, and it's the shade Moonstone Butter, just because I feel like normally nude shades like this are a little bit darker than my skin tone, so it doesn't really give like the like opened eye effect to me, what I've tried in the past. If you see, it's just kind of like, it looks like a concealer. It's a little too dark for me. So I think unless you're super, super fair that this would be a good option and it looks really creamy. I just don't reach for pencils like that as much. And then all the other ones I absolutely love. So we have a blue shade here, which is called Azurite Blue. You see that? See how rich that is? So pretty. We have a green, which is called Melachite Green. I actually wore this for Halloween. There's what that one looks like. And then there is a burgundy, which is called Ruby Grape. I love a good burgundy liner. And then for the more neutrals, we have this brown, which is called Amber Brown. And I love this one because it's definitely more of a warm brown. I feel like it's so complimentary to my eyes. And then last but not least, we have a classic black, which is called Obsidian Black 01. So there's all of the liners swatched out, like I said. Super nice, creamy, long wearing, no issues. I use them in my waterline because I'm not really a, a liner on the lid kind of person. It's just, uh, I'm just not that symmetrical. So I like those a lot. And last but not least, let's go ahead and move on to eyeshadows. So we make up the single shadows and they have a really cool palette builder. They have a bunch of different palettes in different sizes so you can choose how many shades you wanna do. And then they have everything marked out by its finish and you can add them in. It's very fun and I love that it's just easy to see because you don't have to imagine what your custom palette is gonna look like. So I have two different palettes here. The first one you guys have seen before. This is my little colorful palette and it has nine shadows. My friend Angie and Yellow Canique Fist made this for me as a birthday gift, I believe. And I've already done two separate videos on this. I can link down below in case you're interested to see all of these colors swatched out and see the names of each shade and see them in use and whatnot. And then the other one is what they sent to me. And this is a really cute little 15 pan palette. It says beautiful. This is all of my more neutral shadows from We Makeup. I still have got a few pops of color but I think it's super, super cute. So I just went ahead and did like a row of kind of like pinky tones, a row of like warm neutrals. And I did a row of cool tones, which are a little bit more of a pop. I do really enjoy their eyeshadows. I feel like the mattes all blend really easy. They have good pigmentation. They're just easy to use, easy to work with. And the metallics are beautiful as well. They have some that are more satins, like these two shades here are a little bit softer. And then they have ones that are super intense, like this silver and this purple and this duochrome, the orange, the red, those are very, very intense metallics. And they also have beautiful duochromes. This purple, you can't really tell in the pan, but it has like a blue shift to it. This one is one of those like blue shifts with like kind of like a purpley brown base. And my one pet peeve with their eyeshadows though, is that when you take them out of the little packaging, they actually don't have the numbers on the back. So I went through with a Sharpie and had to label all of them myself 
which is not the, the end of the world by any means, but I definitely hope that in the future they'll add stickers so just to make it easier for those of us who love having a ton of single shadows and I like moving them around and not keeping them in one place and still being able to know what the shade is called. I have my little picture here with all the labels so that I know I don't have to pull them back out. So the first shade that we have here is a really nice bright white matte and it is the shade 100. <laughs> So there's what that one looks like, very pigmented. We have the shade 102, which is another kind of neutral matte. That one's just more of like a beige. And then we have the shade 203, which is just a soft satiny gold. Okay, next we have the shade 204, which is a really beautiful, soft, iridescent pink shade. We have 113, which is kind of like a salmon-y peachy matte and then 115 is a soft yellowy orange matte. I guess that's more of a yellow. I don't know why I was thinking that was a bit orange. I don't know. Am I crazy? I feel like that's like perfectly in between yellow and orange. Okay next we have 109 which is a soft matte brown. We have 205 which is a metallic copper and then 110, which is another soft matte brown. This one's just a little tiny bit deeper. Next is this really beautiful red. It's called 302. Look at how intense that is. Such a pretty shade. I feel like that'd be so beautiful for a holiday look. And then we have the shade 305. You guys aren't ready. You're not ready for this silver. Look at that. That is... So beautiful. This purple here is the shade 400. So there's what that one looks like. Hopefully you can see the duochrome a little bit. Okay, last but not least, we have the shade 140, which is a really pretty teal. Very pigmented. We have 404, which is that beautiful duochrome smoky shade. And then 125 is the matte black, which is super pigmented. So there's my entire little neutral with a pop palette swatched out. Okay guys, so those are pretty much all of my thoughts on all the products that we make ourselves. Overall, I feel like everything they do is very high quality. I've been super impressed and I'm grateful to be able to do this video with them. Like I said, I've done videos in the past and I've really enjoyed their products, so I'll leave those down below as well, which were not sponsored in case you're curious to watch them. But let's go ahead and do the demo of how I got this look today using all their products. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off the demo really quickly by doing my brows because I'm gonna do lip swatches of everything. I'm sure you already saw that in the video, but I wanna have brows before I do lip swatches. So I'm gonna take the We Makeup Their Brow Gel and I have the shade 01, that's the best shade for me. And I'm gonna use their brush and just fill in my brows. This is pretty cool because it's one of those like really liquidy brow products, but the little applicator actually, I don't know if you can see that there, it can actually be stuck in just to pick up like the perfect amount. I personally feel like with a product like this, if you do like to have more of a natural brow, I prefer to go in with less and like be very, very careful with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off by brushing through my brows, making sure they're kind of where I want them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take just a little tiny bit, like literally the lightest strokes and start filling in the areas of my brow that's a little bit more sparse. see how quick and easy that was and then whatever is left over I'll bring more towards the front of my brow I try to be very careful because I naturally already have full brows in the front they're just light and I try not to do like super squared off brows and then I'm just gonna go ahead and brush through my brows again so there are the brows Okay guys, my lips are literally killing me after doing all those lip swatches. If they look a little crazy, that's why. I just threw on like seven layers of chapstick. I went ahead and primed my eyes with the Crow and Pebble eyeshadow primer. And now we're going to go ahead and do an eyeshadow look with the little neutral palette that I have from We Makeup. I'm going to take the white shade first and just throw that on my brow bone for a little bit of highlight. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little tiny bit. Actually, while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on the inner corner as well. I'll probably go in with something else eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and take this rosy matte shade right here, and I'm gonna throw that into my crease first as my transition shade. Super beautiful, soft shade, blending really easily right away. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brown shade right here, and I'm gonna pop that right into my crease. Just adding a little bit more depth. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take this brown, popping that on my outer V, just placing it down and blending in a little bit. Oh, you could definitely stop there as far as matte shades go if you wanna do just like a very, very soft look, but I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and I'm going to dip into the black, just adding a little extra dimension to this look. So now jumping into the lower lash line, I'm going to start off with just a little tiny touch of that black just because I like to connect whatever I'm doing on my lid to my lower lash line even if it's just the tiniest amount like that. I go ahead and take the teal shade and I'm going to pop that on the middle. And I'm going to finish off by taking this really beautiful duochrome right here and popping that on the inner third of the lower lash line. I am going to build it up just a little bit so that you can really see the pop and the shift. Okay, so for my lid, I'm going to go ahead and do the purple, and I'm just going to pop it on with my finger. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that all over the lid. So pretty. Okay, lastly, I'm going to go ahead and dip into the silver. I just can't help myself. It's so pretty. I'm going to pick up just a tiny little bit. And I'm going to pop that on my inner corner. All right, now I'm going to take the only eye pencil in the shade 02 Amber Brown and pop that on my waterline. You can see it's very creamy and very pigmented. I normally try not to show this just because I feel like it's a little bit like cringe applying liner on your waterline, but I just want you to see that there's like no tugging, no pulling, anything like that. It's super nice. So for mascara, I'm actually going to do a little combo. I'm going to do the more first and then finish off with since. <sighs> Brand new tube. I'm so excited. Okay, so there's one coat of more. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of since. This is just going to help the mascara not transfer in the heat. Although today's not that hot, but it does help. <laughs> We makeup doesn't have any bronzer or blush or highlight yet. I'm like fingers crossed hoping that they do soon because I just love those kind of products. But I'm going to go ahead and I already did bronzer and blush today, but I'm going to take this shade in the palette, this kind of light iridescent pink, and I'm going to use that as my highlight. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that on the tops of my cheekbones. So my lips are still slightly in pain, but let's go ahead and do a cute little lip combo. I'm going to start off with the lip pencil in the shade 02 Marseille Nude. So I just went ahead and quickly lined my lips, and then I'm going to go ahead and fill them in with the shade 02 in their lipsticks. So that's a really beautiful combination. Those two shades are meant to go together and I love it. But I'm going to go ahead and also add in the lip gloss in the shade 03 and the more shimmery ones just to show you what it looks like as a topper. I'm going to use just a tiny little bit on the center of my lips. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I really love how it turned out and I really hope that you found this video enjoyable and helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them down below. Thank you again to We Makeup for working with me on this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.